Imagine the nucleus of an atom as a tiny, bustling microcosm where protons and neutrons, collectively known as nucleons, dance to the rules of quantum mechanics and the strong force. Although we often picture atomic nuclei as perfect spheres, nature tells a richer, more nuanced story. Today, we'll explore how these subatomic clusters get their shapes and what factors determine whether a nucleus is spherical, elongated, or somewhere in between. What is an atomic nucleus? At the heart of every atom lies the nucleus, a compact region containing most of the atom's mass. In the nucleus, positively charged protons and neutral neutrons are bound together by the strong nuclear force a fundamental interaction that overcomes the natural repulsion between like-charged protons. But while this force holds the nucleus together, it also plays a crucial role in defining its shape. The balance of forces. Two primary forces shape the nucleus. The strong nuclear force. This is the glue that binds nucleons together. It's incredibly powerful at very short ranges, about one to three femtometers and is largely responsible for the cohesion of the nucleus. However, its strength can depend on the arrangement of nucleons. Electrostatic repulsion, protons, all carrying a positive charge, naturally repel each other. Although the strong force usually overcomes this repulsion, the competition between these forces can influence how nucleons arrange themselves spatially. This delicate balance is the first hint that the shape of a nucleus isn't arbitrary. It's the result of competing interactions that favor certain arrangements over others. Quantum mechanics and the nuclear shell model, one of the cornerstones of our understanding of nuclear structure, is the nuclear shell model. Similar to electrons in an atom, nucleons are thought to occupy discrete energy levels or shells within the nucleus. Here's how it works. Magic numbers. Certain numbers of protons or neutrons like 2, 8, 20, 28, 50, 82, and 126, complete these shells, creating particularly stable spherical nuclei. These are analogous to the noble gases in the periodic table, where completely filled electron shells confer extra stability. Beyond magic numbers, when a nucleus has extra nucleons beyond these magic numbers, they often occupy higher energy levels that can lead to deformations. Think of it like adding extra bricks to a structure. It might start to bulge or elongate to accommodate the extra material. In this way, the quantum mechanical arrangement of nucleons, along with their interactions, directly influences whether a nucleus remains spherical or takes on a different shape. Nuclear deformation, prolate and oblate shapes. Not all nuclei are perfect spheres. In fact, many nuclei are deformed and they usually take one of two common shapes, prolate, rugby ball. Shape. Imagine a sphere stretched along one axis, resembling a rugby ball or an American football. Many nuclei, especially those with extra nucleons beyond a magic number, adopt this elongated shape, oblate, pancake, shape. Alternatively, some nuclei are squished along one axis, resulting in a shape akin to a flattened sphere or a pancake. These deformations are not static. They can change in response to energy states within the nucleus. When nucleons are excited, for example during collisions in particle accelerators, the nucleus might oscillate between different shapes, showcasing a vibrant interplay between structure and energy. Collective motion. Vibrations and rotations. Beyond their static shapes, nuclei exhibit collective motions that further influence their appearance. Vibrational modes. Just like a drop of water can oscillate, a nucleus can vibrate around its equilibrium shape. These vibrations can be subtle and involve shifts in the positions of many nucleons simultaneously. Rotational motion. For deformed nuclei, rotation becomes an important factor. When a nucleus rotates, it can reveal information about its shape through the pattern of energy levels observed in experiments. In fact, the rotational spectra of nuclei have been a key piece of evidence confirming their deformed shapes. These collective behaviors illustrate that the nucleus is a dynamic system, with its shape constantly influenced by internal motions and energy exchanges. The Role of the Nuclear Force and Quantum Tunneling 
At such small scales, the rules of classical physics give way to quantum phenomena. One remarkable quantum effect is tunneling, where nucleons can pass through energy barriers that would be insurmountable in classical physics. This quantum tunneling can subtly affect the arrangement and distribution of nucleons, thereby influencing the nucleus's overall shape. Furthermore, the strong nuclear force isn't uniform. It has subtle dependencies on the spin and isospin, a property related to the type of nucleon of the particles. These nuances can favor certain configurations, leading to the diverse range of nuclear shapes observed across different elements and isotopes. Experimental evidence. How do we know the shapes? Scientists have devised ingenious ways to probe the shapes of atomic nuclei. Electron scattering experiments. By bombarding nuclei with high-energy electrons, researchers can deduce the charge distribution within the nucleus. This distribution gives clues about its shape. Gamma-ray spectroscopy. When excited nuclei relax back to their ground state, they emit gamma rays. The pattern of these emissions, especially from rotating nuclei, helps map out the deformations and collective motions within the nucleus. Nuclear reactions and decay patterns. The way nuclei behave during reactions and the energies at which they decay also provide insights into their internal structure and the forces at play. Through these methods, our understanding of nuclear shapes has evolved from simple spherical models to a rich tapestry of shapes and behaviors. Why do nuclear shapes matter? Understanding the shape of a nucleus isn't just a matter of academic curiosity. It has profound implications. Nuclear stability. The shape can influence the binding energy of the nucleus, which in turn affects its stability. Spherical nuclei near magic numbers tend to be very stable, while deformed nuclei may be more prone to decay or fission. Astrophysical processes. In the hearts of stars and during supernova explosions, nuclear reactions drive the creation of new elements. The shape and structure of nuclei affect these reactions, influencing the abundance of elements in the universe. Technological applications. Insights into nuclear shapes are vital for fields such as nuclear energy and medical imaging. They help refine models that predict how nuclei behave under various conditions, which is essential for reactor design and radiation therapies. A symphony of quantum forces. The shape of an atomic nucleus is a beautiful result of a symphony of quantum forces, balancing attraction and repulsion, order and chaos. It's a testament to how nature, even at the smallest scales, organizes itself in remarkably complex and elegant ways. Every nucleus tells a unique story, a story written by the interplay of the strong nuclear force, quantum mechanics, and the collective behavior of its components. Whether it's a near-perfect sphere or a deformed ellipsoid, the shape of the nucleus is a window into the fundamental principles that govern matter. Next time you ponder the building blocks of the universe, Consider the nucleus, a tiny, dynamic structure that defies simple description. Its shape is not just a random outcome, but a finely tuned balance of forces and quantum rules. By exploring nuclear shapes, we gain insight not only into the atoms that make up our world, but also into the deeper laws that orchestrate the dance of matter and energy. Thank you for joining me on this journey into the heart of the atomic nucleus. If you found this exploration fascinating, be sure to like, subscribe, and leave a comment sharing your thoughts or questions. Until next time, keep marveling at the wonders of the microscopic world.